Let's focus on Mariano okay. Rivera for a second, if you may. Sure. Um, since he's the first unanimous selection. And I talk about any unanimous selection, obviously. But this one is near and dear to me. I'm a diehard Yankee fan, as you know. Born in Brooklyn, raised in Staten Island, New York. Mariano Rivera, I remember when he first came up in 1995. He was the setup guy. He was not. He was a starter. In 95. Mariano Rivera did not get his first save until 1996 when Joe Torre put him in the pen. 95, he was a starting pitcher for Buck Showalter's wow. Yankees. And I remember, I'm like, I, I was looking at him. I'm like, okay, Yankees hadn't had starting pitching in a long time. Let's get Mariano Rivera some starts. He looked like an ace on occasion to me. And then Joe Torre with John Wetland. I understand what's going on in his world these days, but Wetland was the closer of the 1996 Yankee team. Right. But for all you folks out there who, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but it is true. I mean, it's <laughs> it's been over 20 years. Um, Mariano Rivera was the setup man. And when the Yankees got a lead in the fifth and they handed things over to Stanton and Nelson, the left-hander and right-hander, Setup man for the setup man galore. Rivera pitched the seventh and the eighth. The game was over. I mean, we're talking today about how um, teams shortened the game in baseball. That the Royals did it. That the copycat league has been get, to get these 90 mile an hour, 90, 100 mile an hour flamethrowers and put them in the sixth, seventh, eighth, you know? And so. Mariano Rivera was a guy coming in the seventh and the eighth, and that's the way the Yankees won the World Series that year because Wetland was just like most closers who are once upon a time for one year or two years unhittable. That's the way the Yankees won. Got enough offense, good enough pitching, and, and off they go. And then the dynasty started. And then Mariano Rivera would keep coming out of the pen. They let go of Wetland, I remember that was that. I mean, what, why are the Yankees letting go of Wetland? He's perfect. And like give Mario keep Mariano where he is. No, no. They put him in the uh in the closers role. Good move. It's a good move. <laughs> Smart move by Tory and Cashman in the Yanks. Good move. Stick Michael back in the day. Good job. All he did, all he did was have 652 career saves. That's most ever. Um and more, more this is it. I mean, you want to talk about World Series MVP, 13-time All-Star, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, fine. 111 postseason innings pitched for Mariano Rivera. Over 32 series in his postseason career. 42 saves, 11 earned runs. That's it. With it all on the line in a part of the season where somebody gets on first base and you as a fan think the game's over, that's it. Somebody gets on first, they're scoring, and you're going to blow it, you're going to lose it. Rivera was as close to anything of the end the game, hit the automatic end game button, just merely entering as Sandman coming out of the pen as anybody ever, and nobody's ever going to do this again. 0. 0.70 career postseason ERA. That's the lowest career postseason ERA ever. And I will say this. You want to name the top five New York Yankees of all time, of all time, since they put on pinstripes. Top five Yankees of all time. Alex Rodriguez. No, 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 stop it. <laughs> oh. Stop it. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, <laughs> trolling. <laughs> Mr. Bronson Arroyo over there. Okay. Yeah. Babe Ruth, yep. Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle, Mariano Rivera. And I know who I'm leaving off the list. Really? He's close, though. He's close to no, that. No, no, no. No, no, I'm talking about Yogi Berra, yeah. Whitey Ford. And I know Derek Jeter, who, as you know, I say is the most perfect person that's ever been created. Rivera's fifth. top oh, five? Yeah. Easy. I'm with Rich. Lou Gehrig. Yeah. Babe Ruth. Joe DiMaggio. Mickey Mantle. 100%. Mariano Rivera. Yep. Top five Yankees of all time. Wow. Go ahead and at me. I mean, I, recency yeah, bias. Yeah, I'm with Rich. It's not no. recency bias. No. It's one of the great. He's well, one of the greatest. Y Yogi Bear played sixty years ago. No, I know that, and I know he won all those World Series too, and I know he was a catcher, and I know he caught the MVP perfect game. And... I know, I understand that. This is not recency bias. It's also what he's done. 
automatic. Automatic. And I know they lost the World Series in 2001 and the Indians got him in 97 in the postseason. He's not perfect. Nor was Ruth, nor was Gehrig, nor was DiMaggio, nor was Mantle. Top five Yankees of all time going into the Hall of Fame, performing for as long as he did, as excellently as he did, and in the position that he played for a team that was dynastic. In an era where dynasties are a dime a dozen, back in the day, sure. But now, there's no dynasties anymore. Except for the Patriots <laughs> and the Warriors. But I'm talking about in baseball, not anymore. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.